Hey guys, we're doing a Michael Kors battery today. It's gonna be really quick. We take one of these and make sure that the link is lined up right there. So we're gonna hammer it on this side and the link's gonna come out from the other side. So let's get that adjusted here. And we're gonna use one of these pin removers and we're gonna hammer it in. I'm gonna use one of these right there. Done. The pin comes out from one side. Pull this out. Keep it somewhere safe. Now for these types of watches, you can use either this wrench or this wrench I use either or I prefer this one because it has better grip on both sides and this is good for like really big watches with big backs like really for a larger back but this one you can definitely use for this type of watch I'm gonna adjust it to the back right here and tighten it as good as possible so it doesn't scratch or move I'm gonna press it down with my hand on top and I'm gonna twist it just like that add more pressure here in this rotation you can definitely feel like it's much easier to move it with your thumbs so that means you've definitely got it and I'm gonna use one of these tweezers to pull this plastic case off but make sure that you're holding the machine down. Make sure the machine you're holding down with your thumb or any any finger and then remove this plastic piece. Because if you don't do that, it sometimes pulls the whole machine with it and then the hands and everything will fall out. So don't do that. Now you see that this battery is right here. This is a, a Miyota. It's Japanese. It's, it's, it's not an expensive uh, machine. You can definitely get this for a lot cheaper. You're obviously paying for the brand name, but the machine is not that expensive. And I'm going to use anything sharp, to be honest. Like, you can use a flat screwdriver, small, tiny one. I'm going to use this one. I have this a flat screwdriver. I'm going to just slide this piece, the metal bar that holds the battery down. I'm going to slide it on top just like that and the battery comes right out. Look. So it's a 364. I'm going to take a 364. I'm going to use this one. It's a Renata. It's a Swiss battery. I'm going to use this. And it's very simple. You just slide it right on top just like that. You see that? It's not even pushed in or anything. Just push it down this way. Down and it goes in. Just to make sure that it's working, it is working. Good. So now we're gonna put the plastic casing back in. Just like that. You can add a little more pressure here because it won't go in. You can always pull the stem out first before you do that. So when you have the plastic case sitting on one side, don't push it too hard unless you've taken out the stem, pulled it out, sorry, and then press it in. Press it in, pull the stem back in, push the stem back in. Now just make sure the time and everything is set. 15 and the first. And that's it. And make sure the gasket is sitting over there nice and smooth it's not coming off on either side take the back just like that right place it right on top place it on top do not try to use any tool yet just with one finger or two fingers try to rotate the back on or with two thumbs either one works whatever is comfortable try to do it without the tool you'll start feeling it when if it's sitting right in the place where it's supposed to be it's gonna get tighter 
and that's it it won't move anymore now you can use the tool use this to tighten it back these tools you can find online and that's it that's done okay now for the pin it's supposed to come out this way right so you're gonna put the pin back in this position see that pin it came out this way we're gonna put it back in this position so what let's just set the band together just like that together both pieces look I'm not gonna push it all the way in I'm gonna use a flat surface and I'm gonna hammer it again and that's done this is how fast it took me five minutes to change the battery it shouldn't take you longer than that either and that's pretty much how you do it thank you